when the remains of the surrealist painter Salvador Dali were exhumed in Spain on Thursday night, forensics experts made a startling discovery. The artist's trademark mustache was still intact. The mustache kept its classic 10 past 10 position, Louis Penuelas. The secretary general of the foundation that oversees Dolly's estate told reporters on Friday, referring to the artist's wax and gravity-defying bristles, which Dolly kept pointed upward, like the hands of a clock. Finding this out was a very emotional moment. Narciss Bart L.A., who had embalmed Dolly's body in 1989, told the Catalan radio station RAC1 that finding the mustache intact was a miracle. He added, Salvador Dolly is forever. The discovery of the mustache was a striking, if unintended, outcome of the opening of Dolly's tomb. In a crypt beneath the museum that he had designed for himself in his hometown, Figueres, which has also become one of the Catalonia region's main tourism destinations. The forensics experts collected samples for a DNA test that a judge ordered last month in a case brought by a woman who says she is Dolly's daughter. The results of the test are expected in a few weeks which should allow the paternity case to resume in September. If paternity is established, Pilar Abel, a 61-year-old tarot card reader, could then claim part of the estate worth hundreds of millions of dollars that Dolly left the Spanish state. The foundation that oversees the painter's estate had unsuccessfully tried to appeal the exhumation order. Mr. Penn Willis said at a news conference that the exhumation was carried out in complete privacy but had nevertheless created an uncomfortable situation for those who feel close to Dolly. Ahead of the exhumation, Anigo Mendez de Vigo, Spain's culture minister, also described the procedure as a shame but necessary if dictated by law. It breaks my heart, the minister told reporters on Thursday. Marta Phillip, the mayor of Figueres, told RAC1 that the exhumation was grotesque. She warned that the city hall, alongside the foundation, could in turn start legal action against Ms. Able to get her to cover the full cost of the exhumation should her paternity lawsuit falter. Dolly's tombstone was lifted with a pulley to allow access to his coffin below. Experts then collected hair, teeth and nail samples, as well as two long bones, which will be put back in place once the DNA testing is completed. Ms. Abel wants to be recognized as Dolly's daughter, born as a result of what she has called clandestine love affair that her mother had with the painter in the late 1950s in Port Liga, the fishing village where Dolly and his Russian-born wife Gala built a waterfront house. Dolly died at 84 in 1989, seven years after Gala, with whom he had had an unusual and childless relationship. Gala moved to a castle overlooking Pubble, another Catalan village and Dolly could visit her there only if she extended a written invitation. Ms. Abel filed her lawsuit in 2015 against the Spanish government and the Gala Salvador Dolly Foundation. In an interview shortly after starting legal action, she said that she wanted recognition as Dolly's daughter and after that, whatever corresponds to me, at the time, Ms. Abel explained that she, rather than her mother, Antonia Martinez de Haro, filed the lawsuit because the mother was in poor health and experiencing the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Ms. Abel's mother spent several summers in Port Liga, working mostly as a nanny for different families living near Dolly's home. The foundation said in a statement on Friday that it considered the exhumation entirely inappropriate given that there is no evidence that claim and Pilar Abel Martinez's claim has any legal basis. 
The foundation argued that instead of demanding Dolly's exhumation, the judge should have ordered tests to compare Ms. Abel's DNA with that of her legal father, who is Dow's East, or that of her brother to establish that she is not her legal father's biological child or her sibling's full-blooded sister.